Hi, good morning. Let's do some bridges, a beginner class. So bridges, chin tucks to sit ups, leg lifts, and let's finish with climb a tree. I used to hate that exercise. So let's be face up on the mat to start. And let's do some bridges. Let's do four of each. So parallel, wide knee, close knee, the frog for each. And then let's do four sit-ups, four leg lifts, and four climb trees. So the first exercise, we're starting out with a neutral alignment. The butt is anchored, sit bones are down evenly. Knees in line with the pelvis, knees in line with the shoulder too, so don't let your knees flare out. And heels anchored, ball of the feet anchored, toes anchored, chest is open, nose is pointing up, arms down by your side. And we're coming from a neutral alignment into curling the pelvis towards our nose, bringing our low back completely onto the mat, and then start rolling up into a bridge. So it's a scooping movement coming up as high as we can. Sit bones are curling towards the knees. And then on the way down, we're taking our time, take your time coming down. Lend vertebrae by vertebrae while keeping the sit bones towards the knees, so the hamstrings are shortened and you don't let that go till we are all the way down. So mid back to low back to pelvis and this is when you let your hamstrings go. Come back into a neutral tilt and then let's go into an anterior tilt, so create more space under the low back coming to a big anterior tilt or a big mouse house. Let's do one more just like that. Coming from this big mouse house into a neutral alignment, so lesser space in the low back, and then no space under the low back. Heels are down, ball of the feet down, toes are down. Sit bones start lifting and lift your butt up vertebrae by vertebrae. Keep the knees in line with the hips and shoulders. The pelvis is still curling, hamstrings are shortening, lift up as high as you can. And then take your time coming back down. Pelvis is still curled under, mid back to low back, to the pelvis, and this is when you let the tension in the hamstring go. Come back into a neutral alignment, some space under the low back, and then come into a big mouse house, into an anterior tilt. Bring your pubic bone closer to the mat. With this, I feel a lot of stretch in my low back, and by the sit bones. Okay, let's do two more just like that. From anterior tilt to neutral, some space to no space in the low back. Start lifting the pelvis, articulate the spine, lift up vertebrae by vertebrae, knees in line with the shoulders, Come up as high as you can. 
keep curling the pelvis that doesn't stop. Hamstrings are shortening or as high as you can. And then once you arrive, keep the curl under and then start coming back down, slowly controlled vertebrae by vertebrae. Strength is not only how much weight, weight you can lift, but how you can manage, how well you manage your body in space at your will. Low back, the pelvis is still curling on there, and this is when I'm releasing, coming into neutral alignment and coming into a big mouse house, a big anterior tilt. Pubic bone curls towards the mat. And one more. From anterior tilt to pelvis moves into a posterior tilt. Low back touches the mat and then start lifting up vertebrae by vertebrae. Hamstrings are shortening, pelvis is still curling. Pubic bone comes closer to the nose and then lift up as high as you can. Chest is open, nose is pointing to the ceiling and then come back down. I feel a lot in my biceps bones. That's where the hamstrings originate. It's a hamstring exercise. That's why you feel it in your hamstrings. Back to neutral. Okay, this is four. Let's do four wide knee one. So bring your heels by the edges of the mat, heels down while the feet down, toes down. Sit bones are down evenly. Start with a neutral alignment. And same thing, the pelvis curls, the legs are stable, the chest is open, arms by your side, or keep it in your ASIS. Coming from some space under the low back to no space under the low back to coming to lifting the butt up. Slow and controlled vertebrae by vertebrae. Lift up as high as you can. In a wide knee position, you feel your butt a lot more than when you keep your feet um, parallel. Lift up, hamstrings are shortened, sit bone is still curling, and then come down vertebrae by vertebrae. Mid back to low back, feel a lot in the hamstring by the sit bone, low back, to curling the pelvis forward, coming into a big mouse house. A lot of stretch in the low back area, a lot of stretch by the sit bones. And let's do three more just like this. From big mouse house, to small mouse house, to no mouse house, curling the pelvis up, from all the way up, Feel a lot in my butt and then come back down slow and controlled. Low back to pelvis to your pubic bone curling towards the mat. Big stretch in the low back, big stretch by the sit bones to neutral tilt, to posterior tilt, to lifting the butt up, slow and controlled. Bone by bone, vertebrae by vertebrae. Come up as high as you can, 
the bones are still curling, hamstrings are short here, right? Keep the pelvis curled under, drop the mid back, keep the pelvis curled under, drop the low back, and then drop the butt. And this was three or four, I have no idea. Well, let's do one more. Big mouse house to no mouse house to curl up. To coming back down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. This took me months to be able to build up to this. Because I always struggled. I always had a spot in my mid back and I always had my L5S1. It took me months to mobilize it out. So if you not mastered it yet, well, you have to put in the time and eventually you will get better. Okay, next, knees together, feet still apart. With this, I feel a lot more in the inner thighs and by just sit bones. Same thing, coming from a big mouse house to a neutral tilt to a posterior tilt, pubic bone curls towards the nose, and then lift up slow and control. And then come back down. Feel a lot in my inner thigh. Low back to pelvis. No space, just small space to pubic bone curling towards the mat to big space. This was one. Back to neutral, back to posterior tilt, no space. Lifting up, slow and controlled. Feel a lot of stretch in the front of my thigh as well. Come back down. Mid back to low back. To butt. To curl the pelvis forward. Feel a lot of stretch by the sit bones. A lot of stretch in the low back. Back to neutral. This is two. Low back touches the mat and curl up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Hamstrings are short, sit bone curls towards the knees. Keep the tension in the hamstrings and drop down bone by bone. Mid back to low back to pelvis. Keep this and then curl the pelvis forward. Release the hamstrings. Create space under the low back. This was three, so one more. Big space to lesser space to no space under the low back to start lifting up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Pelvis is curled under and drop down slow and controlled. Low back to pelvis to the big mouse house. Four. And the last one, the frog one. Heels together. Ball of the feet together, toes together. Some space in the under the low back. Chest is still open. Knees are wide open. This is the hardest. 
curl the pelvis towards your nose, have the low back land on the mat. Hold this and slowly try lifting your butt up. Come up as high as you can. You can come up as high as previously. I feel a lot by the sit bones and the hip joint. And then come down slow and controlled. Up the mid back to the low back, come down back to a neutral alignment. Some space to a lot of space. A lot of stretch in the front of the thigh. By the hip joint in the front. Hold that. You can also here rock side to side. We're usually so stiff by the hip joint. Come back into the neutral alignment. So your posterior tilt is so hard. So lifting the butt up. This is two. Come up as high as you can. So lower down. Mid back to low back. The butt lending to creating more space under the low back. Feel the stretch in the front of the hips. You can rock it from side to side just to add some extra mobility to the hip joints. Two, this was two. So third one, low back lens on the mat, the big bone curls towards the nose, lift up. Keep the pelvis curled under, this is the hardest, and then come back down. Heels, follow the feet, toes are still together. Low back lens, sit bones lend. Create space under the low back by tilting the pelvis forward, bringing the pubic bone closer to the mat. Anterior tilt. A lot of stretch in the front of the hip joint. You can rock side to side. This was three, so last one, fourth. Curl the pelvis under. Low back touches the mat and then lift up. And then last one, lower down. Mid back to low back to the butt, to the sit bone, to bringing the pubic bone closer to the mat, curling the pelvis forward, creating space under the low back. Move it side to side to extra Add some extra mobility. Create some extra space. And then back to neutral. And then hug the knees into the chest. And I forget what I said, but let's do chin tucks. What did I say? Chin tucks to sit ups to climb a tree, right? So next is heels in line with the sit bones. Sit bones are down evenly. Press the heel ball of the feet, toes into the mat. Some space under the low back to honor the natural curve of the spine. Chest is open. And then we're going to curl the nose towards the breastbone or sternum. 
and then that lengthens the back of the neck. So stretching the back of the neck. And slightly engaging the front of the neck. So the deep neck flexors. And then bringing it back up. Let's do four of this. This is easy. And two. Slide the nose down. Shoulders stay open. And then bring it back up. And then three. And last one, four. And bring it back up. Okay, sit ups. I bring my heels away a little bit from my seat bones. But still, knees in line with the hips, heels in line with the sit bones. I start with some space under the low back, but that will disappear as I am sitting up. Arms out in front, palms face each other, and lift the head like I'm pulling you upwards, and then start curling your nose towards the sternum, towards the breastbone, and then come up as high as you can. If you can't come up, you can sit all the way up. Vertebrae by vertebrae, roll up. Sit up tall. If you are able to sit up all the way, lift from your low back and pull you upwards. And then take the time rolling down. So curl the pelvis. So pelvis to low back bone by bone down, shoulders down, and lastly the head comes back. Three more. Lift the head, start curling down, start lifting up vertebrae by vertebrae, sit up tall, curl up the pelvis, look straight ahead, Lift from your low back, heels are still down, toes are still down. Lift as high as you can, and then curl the pelvis under, and then roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Two. And then head comes down last. Two more. Lift the head. Start curling your nose down, flexing. Lift up, slow and control. And actually, if you talk while you do this, that helps with breathing. Sit up as tall as you can. And then curl the pelvis under the pelvic curl. And then Lower down vertebrae by vertebrae. Three, one more. Lift the head. Flex forward. Come up as high as you can. Lift up. And then curl the pelvis under. Lower down. Head comes down last. Okay, next, the leg lifts. I'm gonna start on the left side. So the goal here is to keeping the pelvis stable, create some space under the low back, neutral alignment. And spine is stable, pelvis is stable, upper body is stable, chest is open, nose is pointing up, arms by your side or on your ASIS. Left leg is straight. Right knee is in line with the pelvis. 
right heel, rise all of the foot, right toes down, point your left foot, lift it up, lift it as high as you can keep your knees straight, so quads and hamstrings go contraction, flex, and lower back down, let's do four, point as you lift, space under the low back, flex as you lower, Point as you lift, knees are straight, this knees bent, in line, lower down, pelvis is stable, last one, point, and flex. And then let's reverse, flex and lift, knees straight, bring it as high as you can, point and lower. Space under, low back remains, flex and lift, point and lower, flex and lift, spine is stable, shoulders don't roll forward, point and lower, flex the foot, lift it up, knee stays straight, bring it in. Point it and lower down. Okay, let's switch legs. Heel down, ball of the foot down, toes down, butt toes down, knee in line with the shoulder. Don't let the knee roll out. Don't let the pelvis rock side to side. Your space, your neutral under the low back. Chest is open. Flex your foot, your right foot. Lift it up, keep the knee straight, use your quads to keep the knee straight, point and lower. Flex and lift, point and lower. Flex and lift, point and lower. Flex and lift. And point and lower. Reverse. Belly stable. Knee line with the shoulder. Point and lift. Flex and lower. Point and lift. Flex and lower. Two more. Point and lift. Flex and lower. And last one, point and lift, and flex and lower. Hug the knee to the chest. Spine, of course, here is imprinted. Deep breath in. And then let's finish with the climb the tree. I'm going to start on the left side. So right leg is straight, right leg is stable, right heel flexed, right knee straight, the left leg lifts to a 45 degree angle. I'm going to keep it pointed, but usually I have a cramp in my foot so I may need to move it, move my foot a little bit. Um, arms in front of you, lift the head. Start curling up, the leg is straight and stable, lift your upper body up and walk up on your leg and climb up on the tree. Lift from your low back, you stay straight and walk your hands down. Come all the way down and then let's go again, head lifts. Start curling forward and then walk up on the leg. Knee stay straight, lift from the low back. Try to lift the sternum as well and then come back down. From low back to mid back, the head comes back last. Two more. Head lifts, head spins. 
flex forward, slow and controlled. Vertebrae by vertebrae, roll up, curl up, walk up. Sit up tall, sit bones are down evenly. And then come back down. I used to eat this exercise with a passion. Now it's just not my favorite. Last one, lift up, curl up. Slow and control, vertebrae by vertebrae. Articulate the spine, curl up, lift up, climb up, sit bones down evenly. A lot of stretch in the leg. You can also stay here, point and flex the ankle, but don't let your upper body collapse. While you do that, and then walk your hands back down. And then let's switch legs. Left heel down, left knee straight, right leg lifts to 45 degree angle. Arm comes out in front, lift the head, start spinning, start flexing, start curling forward. Slow and control, vertebrae by vertebrae, sit bones are down. Walk up on the leg, curl up, lift up, look straight ahead, slow and control, come back down, low back to mid back, and the head comes down less. Three more. A tree trunk, the leg is stable, head lifts, head spins. Slow and control, curl up, walk up as high as you can. The two sides may be completely different, and that's normal. Over time, the goal is to balance the body, but that not always happens. That's not always possible. Three, lift the head, curl up. All the way up. Sit up tall. Lift up. Hold it and then slowly walk your hands down. Low back to mid back to the head. Last one. Head lifts, start curling forward. Flex up, curl up, sit up tall, stay here, knees are straight, point and flex your right leg, your right foot, don't let your upper body collapse, and then walk your hands down. Hug the knees into the chest. Deep breath in, rock side to side. And then let's lay your weight back on the mat. Thank you. I hope this was good. Have a good day.